After watching this video, you'll know exactly how to transfer the ownership of your Bubble app to someone else, which is perfect if you're a Bubble freelancer building products for clients, or if you've actually just sold your Bubble app. Show me the money! Now, thankfully, this is a relatively straightforward process. So I'm gonna hand this one over to Jason, and he's gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step instructions, so that way you can get a clear understanding of the exact process. Hi, I'm Jason. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to transfer ownership of an app in Bubble. Now, why would you wanna transfer ownership of your app that you put so much blood, sweat, and tears into? Well, A, you completed an app for a client on your own Bubble account, received payment, and now wanna transfer that app to your client's Bubble account. Or B, you sold your app and now need to transfer it to the buyer. Either way, congratulations. I regret the decision to throw ripped up construction paper. You might also need to do this if you just want to transfer an app between different Bubble accounts that you own, but that's not as exciting. Okay, here I am on my Bubble homepage. I just sold my app called Boats Boats Boats. Let's open it. Here it is. It's mostly just poorly photoshopped images of me on my imaginary boats, but Maybe with the money that I make from the sale of this app, I can go buy a real boat. Let's transfer this app. I'm gonna head to settings. And then collaboration. And now here in invite a user, I'm going to put the email address of the bubble account I want to transfer the app to. This might be your client or your buyer's email address. Very important. The person receiving the app must have their own Bubble account already set up in order for this to work. Also very important, this is not reversible. Once you transfer an app, you cannot get it back. Unless they transfer it back to you, then maybe you can get it back if you do it that way. Back to Boats Boats Boats. The person who bought Boats 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 is trainingelianluna at gmail.com. Next, I'm going to click transfer. I'm very sad that I'm parting with both both boats, but I'm very excited for the cash money, which I'm gonna use to buy a real boat and maybe a truck to pull it, and maybe a cottage on a lake where I can drive the boat. Okay, you're about to transfer the application to a new owner. You will lose access to the application. Don't forget that. Confirm. I am redirected back to the homepage because I no longer have access to Boats Boats Boats. Tear. Plot twist. Here I am signed into trainingelianluna at gmail.com. This email address is actually for my dog's Instagram account. I sold Boats 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 to myself. Did you think I would actually sell this cash cow? It's priceless. And now that I'm signed in to trainingelianluna at gmail.com, I'm going to refresh. And there's my new app, the proud owner of Boats Boats Boats. Okay, now that you have sold and transferred your app, let us know in the comments what you plan to buy with your boatloads of money, pun intended. And if it's a boat, let me know. I want to be your friend. Okay, bye. And just like that, you now know how to transfer the ownership of your app to either a freelance client or someone who's purchased your product. If you wanted to stay up to date with any additional Bubble resources I share, I'd recommend hitting that subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date with all of my latest content. In the meantime though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial, and I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.